Hi, it's Petra from Petra's Pop Cauldron. We are going to make something really, really cool. We are going to make Japanese lettuce wraps. Simple, easy, fast, absolute awesome. When you hear barking in the background, that's one of my bullmasters complaining. <laughs> she doesn't want to be locked up, but I don't care. So anyway, so this is what you're going to need. Lettuce wraps. So you got to have the laps, the this lettuce, lettuce. So what happened is all this good stuff is going to be in the cold, in my cauldron, in my wok, and it's going to come in here later on, and I'll show you how that's been done. We washed them already. So we have our beautiful... What, 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 what? what kind of lettuce are we using? Oh, we are using um, romaine lettuce. That's romaine, okay. That's romaine lettuce because I like them. They are long, yeah. and they're a little bit more sturdy in the mm -hmm. middle, and you can easily mm -hmm. fold this up, and then you can just eat it. Perfect. Usually, what what do other people use? Um, butter, butter lettuce. lettuce. Yeah. Butter lettuce. But that's a little bit smaller. But that's too tiny. No, yeah. I, I don't like that. This is so much better. Yeah. And they're crunchy. I yeah. love that. Cannot even talk. All this water is running <laughs> in my mouth. Yeah. Because I know what it tastes uh. like. Anyway, so and then we have our green onions, and um, I told you today how to cut them. This is how you cut them. Okay. So we have also some tomatoes. We like our tomatoes. We like our broccoli, and it has tomatoes. to be. Yeah, tomatoes. Oh, We're going to put tomatoes in today. Okay, cool. You don't want them? I want no, them. I, don't, I don't normally eat tomatoes in there. I don't care. Okay. You eat them. It's good for your eyes. Okay. Eyes. <laughs> My poor husband. Yeah. <laughs> He's been abused by me. Yeah. So, oh. So, and then we have our broccoli. It's going to be in small cuts. Then, of course, you need your red bell peppers, your yellows. You got your garlic. You got your ginger. You got your scharfe scheiße jalapenos. And look what we did today again. See here? We julienned our Carrot. um, carrots, just like I showed you today in my earlier video. So these are extra for an extra salad, just in case we want more. You have plenty onions. And then I minced our uh, chicken, and, it, and I cut it in very small pieces. Mm -hmm. The smaller it gets, the better it gets. See here? But that's good smart. And then I will have also something else. That's for me, not Greg. I like to have a seafood one for a change. And also I have some shrimps and I have some baby scallops. And how we are going to um, season them. We are going to use our hoisin sauce. Remember guys, hoisin sauce. It's the Japanese or Asian Chinese barbecue sauce. Very good. We are using also our organic um, soy sauce. Be careful with the salt because it's already salty. We are using our sesame oil, and this is just a little bowl I need to finish off, so a little bit goes far. And then our sambal, you know, for spices. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go to my cauldron. <laughs> so, at first, we're going to bring up all our stuff over here. Now I'm going to open this one here up make it hot and I will be putting just a little touch of little touch of um, coconut oil in here remember coconut oil high in in heat and so it's good stuff so you can use that do I do that and I will be bringing all my other things over here so let me get ready because actually it goes very fast Probably all together, maybe 15 minutes or so. I think, yeah. So. I hope that you've been watching my other video, what I loaded down today. You know, the one of the tools and toys of the spices from our car, because that's what you usually need in the basic. So you're gonna love it. I hope this is good. So what we're gonna do is first, first we're gonna bring our chicken in here. That's the first step. You brown it just like so. And then when this is done, we bring it back into our little bowl because then we're going to do our vegetables. So we are browning now our chicken. Don't put too much oil in it or any of your favorite um, yeah, fat vessel, you know. Don't use bacon. That's way too strong. You don't want to fuck it up. 
So it has to be brown a little bit, you know, here and there. So, see, that smell is already awesome. That, that smell is already awesome. You know that you can smell this grilled chicken. <coughs> Yummy. Lecker. Lecker. So, now I will be taking this out. Put it in here. That is the same vessel, you know, where our um, chicken came from earlier. Greg just cleaned it out. Washed it for me. Very nice of him. I like him. <laughs> so now, <laughs> danke schön, Schatzi. Bitte. Schatzi means honey, darling, sweetheart. How's it been called in English? What else? Dear. It's just a, it's a term of endearment. That, a pet, you know. a per, yeah. yeah okay. Honey, baby. Yeah. Yeah, so, we don't say that. I'm going to turn this down here again. So on this end here, I will be having now my other skillet on because we're going to put our seafood in here. So first, first I'm going to take my onions. Like so much. Then you're going to take in your ginger, your aromatic, and your jalapenos, okay? Very simple, people. You don't have to be worried. You don't have to be scared. And then you're going to put in your garlic. Garlic is so important. Are we going to put all of it in here? <laughs> Look up. Don't be intimidated by it. It's a simple step. Nothing fancy. It looks fancy. That's for sure, right? <laughs> He's know. not talking to Is me that, too much. He's focusing on it. He yeah. knows already what it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> now I can start smelling the garlic. I can start smelling the ginger. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Now we're going to put in our green stuff. I'm going to put in our green stuff. Our bell peppers. We like to cook it a little al dente. Not too much. Okay. And we put our tomatoes in it. <clears throat> this is so delicious. This is so healthy, Leute. You can, Leute. Put a lot, you can put whatever like whatever you want in it, right? Yeah. You could you could cut up some green beans if you want. Yeah, you can. I mean Snow peas. Snow peas fits very nicely in it, you know. And our Julian wonderful carrots. And if you like, you can also use um, rice. You can cook rice. Yeah. But we are not into carbs today. It's not happening. So time to put my I got I put my um, seafood seafood in now. Seafood goes very quick, especially if you do scallops. You have it like two three minutes on each side. And I like to put a little seafood flavor on here. You can buy it at any store or you don't. You just leave it with some um, pepper and salt. You can do that too, you know, so. Oh, this kitchen is full of flavors. Aroma. Yeah, aroma? Aroma, yeah. Aroma. Flavors when you taste it. Oh, flavors when I taste it. <laughs> That's later. Okay, that one's later. Mm -hmm. Now, take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. It cannot get any healthier. And don't tell me you have no time to cook this. This is what, 15 minutes altogether. The only thing what takes a little longer time is the chopping part. Prep work. The prep work. Yeah, that's maybe another 15 minutes, I like to say, but that's it. So, here we're gonna turn this over now. Got a different one here. Oh, I can smell the scallops. I can smell the the shrimps. <laughs> and when they turn pink like this, and they become round and they all curl up, that's almost a sign they're almost there. 
So I like to turn it over. So if you cook them too long, you will have a little rubber. Mm -hmm. So that is probably something, you know, you have to practice, I would like to say. Well, Greg is not a big fan of any type of seafood. It's not oh, really. that's not true. Yes, it is. The oh. only thing is popcorn shrimps. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I like butterfly shrimp. Better than popcorn. <laughs> but mostly it's popcorn Usually, shrimp. Yeah. Popcorn I don't, mind, shrimp. I don't mind good tuna. Yeah. I just don't like it when it's really super fishy. No. What is the name of that one fish that starts with the B I just bought the Baramundi? Oh, yeah. We're going to make baramundi soon. Yeah, that's not bad. That's also like that. it's a white fish. Very, very, very tasty. So, this is been done. Now, turn this one over one more time. Uh, some sauce. I'm going to turn the heat off now. I'm going to kill it. Now we're going to start putting the spices in. So, hoisin sauce, Leute, hoisin sauce. I like to put in a big look. Big look. Just like so. There you go. You have to go by your own feeling, you know, but you, how spicy you want stuff mm -hmm. and how, uh, how salty you want it. Soy sauce, soy sauce, soy sauce, soy sauce. Now comes in black like sesame oil. Remember, a little bit goes a long way. Maybe a teaspoon. Yeah, maybe a teaspoon, for, not too much. And we like spicy shit, so we're going to put in some symbolic. A tablespoon. I'm not going to use any salt because soy sauce is already salty. I cannot even talk. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah. I, can, I can taste it, how delicious this is. We lecker. Mm. So you mix it. See, and that's almost it. All you have to do now is... Taste it, do a taste test. Good thing I got my fork here, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. And? And? That's very hot. Uh huh. <laughs> mm hmm. Did you get it right? <laughs> Everything good? Always do. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I never miss. That's it. So, that's our filling. Turn the heat off. What about the chicken? Oh, yeah. I'm going to put that's the chicken. Very important part. <laughs> very important part. So, put in the chicken. Since it is still hot, you just mix it up. Oh, this is liquor. Mix it up nicely so everything gets under. And it's being covered with this awesome sauce. Another taste test, a quick one. You want to try that? No. No? I'll take your word for it. He makes me eating it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so bad, huh? Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Now it's time for plating. All right. <laughs> so now we're going to start plating. Remember our beautiful romaine lettuce? And we just mm -hmm. take this and put it in here as much as you want to. Well, if you overfill it, it falls out. That's right. That's right. So now you're going to put it on here. It's like a little canoe of goodness. Like a little canoe of goodness. So I'm having a beautiful mix with all the veggies. And some of the shrimps go on it. Oops, come here, here. Some of this scallops. Oh, Leute. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oops. Oops. Far back here. Get back in the boat. Get back in the boat. I have another one. And of course, you can make it as spicy as you want to. And if you like to have more vegetables in it, do it. If you want to go vegetarian, keep the meats out. That's pretty easy. That's easy to do. Mm -hmm. So then we plate it. 
And we always make it pretty because we deserve it, right? Well, what is that? That is that is Thai basil. It grows also in my backyard. Yeah. It's more aromatic than the sweet basil is the Italian one. Oh my god. I just love my Thai basil. So that's it. I gotta have some. <laughs> Scallops are perfect. So check this out. Now how beautiful is this? We got the seafood and chicken in the middle. We got chicken and vegetable here and here too. Look at this. There is nothing in yummy, this world yummy. what holds you back for not making it. If you don't make it, you don't know what you're missing out, people. You do not know what you're missing out. You've got to make it. Look, this is what you're having. This is healthy. This is healthy. There's no carbs in it. No sugars in it, just a little bit, you know, from the hoisin sauce. But that's it. This is what you're having. This is beautiful. Yeah. I want you to like it, to comment on it, make it, subscribe to my channel if you see any value of it. Thumbs up and ring the little bell, please, people. I would like that. Tschüss and thank you. See you later, alligator. Bye. <laughs>